Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another great episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. Let's check our uh, work order here. So we've got to perform an OBD scan. So he's asked, the customer is asking us to scan his onboard computer. I need to know if there's any electronic parts uh, that are reporting some errors. So generally they do it from the inside. I, it's been a long time since I've really tinkered with cars. And a lot of them have been a little bit more advanced. So let's see. There we go. OBD link. Check errors. Okay, so it's reading at 25%, 67. Checking errors. Finalizing. Done. <laughs> okay. So I guess we'll get out of the car. Um... Let's see. Oh, we can actually hide and show the body on the car. That's kind of cool. Okay, so uh, I don't know if maybe we got to go to our computer now. Uh, oh, we can get a bank loan, learning books, used car parts, car parts shop. That's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what we're supposed to be doing next as far as our little report here. Um, let's take a look. Let's see. Hide and show parts. Okay, so we checked it. Is that all we need to do? That's it. Okay, I guess. You're right, yeah. <laughs> he didn't ask for repairs. He just wanted us to check it. So we checked it. I was trying to overcomplicate things. All right. They want us to repair the starter. It's a Revton Win 2010. I heard I can have my starter repaired here. It barely works, but I don't have money for a new one. Can you repair it for $100? Well, let's see if I can do that or not. Because let's go to a used car parts and see if we can find a used starter. First, let's see. There's a starter for a hundred and ten or a hundred and eleven dollars. Um, let's see what a new starter is going to cost. Obviously, it's going to be a lot more. Um, a brand new starter is two hundred dollars. He's wanting it for a hundred dollars. There's really like no way we can do that. Can you repair it for a hundred bucks? I mean, we can repair it for a hundred bucks, but gosh, that's gonna... Like, I'm not gonna make any money. My starter is $111 used. Can I, like, decline the work order? Let's see. I wonder if there's a way to, like, decline the work order. Or do we just say, screw it and repair it for a hundred... We're gonna lose money, though. Yeah, I don't see a way to, uh... At or like stop a job or anything like that. Let me try. Let me try this and see. Restart order. Huh. All right. Well. Guess we don't have a choice. Okay. Well, let's go to used car parts. Let's buy ourselves a, a used starter. Hmm. Yeah. We'll go with that. Let's go ahead and lift the car up here. Because the starter should be down underneath here. On this back side. Let me spin around. We'll come on up. And right there's our starter piece. So let's go ahead and assemble and disassemble the starter. Can I like uh, squeeze back this way maybe? Alright, uh, it doesn't look like I can quite access it from here. Let's see, let's try. Can I, like, get... I don't think I can get it from up here. Yeah, it's not going to let me get it from right here. Okay, let's try a different... Let's try a different angle here. 
I know right where it's at. It's like right there, but trying to get the proper angle on it is kind of crazy. So there's the starter. It's not letting me look at it from back here. All right, so maybe we gotta try and do it from, uh, I don't think changing sides makes too much of a difference. No, it's still not letting me. Yeah, it's still not letting me get it from this side. Maybe we gotta go to the actual engine compartment. Let's try dropping it back down. Which makes no sense though. I thought you would be able to get it from down over there, but whatever. Oh, I guess you have to do it from back here. That's kind of strange. I thought it would be easier to lift the car up. Let's do a, uh, let's, t let's take a look at it first. Condition is unknown. I know, that's why I'm wanting to do... Ah, uh, screw it. We'll just change the dang thing. That's what he wants. <laughs> Starter's gone. Alright, so we're going to assemble a new starter here for him. We're going to put a one that's 17% over 12. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be very better for him. <laughs> well, there you go. I don't know if that's going to work because uh, he probably wanted a new starter, didn't he? Yeah. Dang, there went a hundred bucks. He's gonna want a brand new starter for a hundred bucks. My gosh, the part alone is gonna cost me two hundred. Holy crap, I just spent three hundred bucks on this car. Now I'm losing money. Alright, well, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's circle back around this stupid thing. Alright, let's disassemble the old starter that I just wasted money on. I wonder if I can resell the used car parts that I've got. Okay, let's put a new starter in here. There we go. And repaired. Wow. I lost a little bit of money on that deal. I was trying to trying to do it the back doorway and give him a used starter off the parts house, but that didn't work. Perform a test drive, replace all damaged parts again. All right, let me see, can I sell? Let's see, show inventory. This is, oh, I can sell all this stuff for five bucks. Well, let's just sell all these old parts. I don't need all these old brake pads and these old filters and Rubber bushings for sit. Yeah, we're going to sell all these old pieces that we've kept. We don't need any of this. Oh, look at that. 19 bucks for the starters. And I got 26 for the one that I bought. Isn't that amazing? All right, let's take this car for a test drive. Let's see what's wrong with it. Let's diagnose the problem, shall we? I know there's got to be different. Ah, change cameras. Acceleration test. Okay, acceleration test is complete. God, this car handles funny. And braking test. Alright, now we're going to do the slalom test. Oh, it's much easier this way. <laughs> there we go. Suspension test. All right. Test drive is complete. All right. Let's see what the problems are. Let's diagnose this beast. Okay. 
Replace all damaged parts. Let's take a look in here. Let's go ahead and do our examine conditions. All of this seems to be yellow. 75%, 71%. Seventy-one. All of this seems to be okay on the, the motor side of things. Yeah, we're good on this side. Battery's good. Oh, wait. What is that down there? Why is that red? Oh, it's not. Okay, I thought it was. Alright, so let's get out of this. Let's, uh, let's check the inside. No, get inside the car. I don't know if we really need to do this or not, but I guess we'll uh, see if it pops up for any errors. Okay, so let's get out of that. Let's go ahead and lift the car up and see if there's anything wrong on the underneath. I'm not seeing a whole lot of anything. Nothing back there. So what about uh, on this side of things? Huh. I'm not seeing a whole lot of anything that's damaged back here. Like, at all. So what in the heck is he needing repaired, if anything? I don't see anything. I think this dude is, uh, like, fine the way he is, actually. It says replace all damaged parts, but I'm not seeing, like, any damaged parts anywhere. Shifting gears is much harder than it should be. There's probably something wrong with the clutch. Ah. Guess I should have read the description. So here's our gearbox. So we need to probably crack the, open the gearbox here. Oh, it's really going to make me do it from the top side again, isn't it? Alright, let's lower the car again. All right, gearbox. Let's go ahead and dismantle this bad boy. So it's needing us to take these off to get the gearbox off. So we gotta take the starter off first. All right, let's take the starter back off. All right, so that's off. We're needing to take these off apparently. Okay, so where do we got to go to take... Oh, we got to take the tires off is why. Okay, well, let's take the tires off. Got to take them off on both sides real quick. Man, what I wouldn't get for an air, air ratchet right now. Okay, let's take that tire off. Let's take this one off really quick. There we go. Tire is off. Okay. Let's get back into the here now. We should be able to swing back around here. And go to this. And we should be able to dismantle these now, right? Nope, nope, nope. Hang on. I remember what I forgot. I remember. Hold on. We got to take this piece off right here. This one, there's like a piece right there that we've got to take off. That's the one. Aha! Same with this side. It's not going to let me get it from over here, is it? No, i got to go to the other side. This game is killing me. For whatever reason, my cursor keeps going outside of my screen. And if I click, it minimizes my game and makes me restart it. 
or not restart it, but uh, click back in again. There we go. Okay, now we should be able to get down to this gearbox here. So now let's check our conditions right there. The clutch uh, release bearing is what's bad. Okay, so the clutch release bearing. Let's go ahead and uh, dismantle this piece here. That seems to be what's causing us our issue. So let's go find a clutch release bearing at the parts store. Clutch release bearings right there for $100. All right, let's go change this bad boy. There's the new one. Put this bad boy back on. Okay, that's good to go. Now we gotta come back over here and put these pieces back in. Come on, let me in there. There we go. Put in the drive axle, ratchet this back in. Then we'll put the tire back on. Gotta do the start pattern. Don't wanna make anybody mad again. <laughs> put that piece back on again ratchet this bad boy in put our tire back on like this star pattern really matters I know in real life you'd want to but this game's not that technical for that alright so is that everything? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We forgot the starter underneath. We gotta put the starter back on. I just remembered that. Right there. There we go. So we should be good to go now. Let's check our work order. Hmm, it's saying that we're not done yet. Did we forget another piece somewhere? Got the wheels back on. Did I forget to put a piece back on somewhere? Oh, it's turning red down here. What did we forget to put back on? What did we forget? Nope, I didn't want to get out of that. Did we forget something here? Let's go to our diagnostic thing. It's really kind of hard to see sometimes here. To, rot to rotate the cameras and whatnot. I'm not seeing anything else wrong. Unless there was something else in the gearbox we needed to replace. Yeah, there must be something else in there that we forgot to replace. Well, what a bummer. We're going to have to take it all back apart real quick. Well, at least we know what we're doing now. Somewhat. We want to take this piece off. Okay, that piece is out. This game is killing me with that. How you uh, tap or you click outside your screen and it minimizes it. Okay, we'll take that off. We'll swing back to this piece. Take this off. There we go. Now we should be able to jump back outside the motor. We'll pull the starter back off. We'll pull that uh, gearbox out again and see if we miss something. This is part of being a mechanic. Just tearing it all apart.
All right, so we got that. Clutch pressure plate. So let's take that off. We'll take this off. See if there's anything else in here. Ah, the clutch friction plate was bad. That's what I get for just jumping right into it, not uh, taking the whole thing apart, huh? No, we don't want to mount. We want to disassemble things. Clutch friction plate. Take that off. Is there anything else that might be bad in here? So we need to go and purchase a clutch friction plate really quick. Clutch pressure, clutch friction plate right there. Okay, my goodness. I'm sorry if you guys are seeing all these little random cuts in there. It's because of this stupid game. Like, for whatever reason, it allows you to move your cursor outside the screen. And it keeps minimizing my game, which cut in return stops for apps. Okay, clutch friction plate mounted. Clutch pressure plate mounted. We got this. All under control. Even though it took me 10 extra minutes. So, Alright, I'll just charge labor. We'll put that back on. We'll put the uh, gear back. Gear The gear back's back on. Okay, there we go. Gearbox back on. While we're down here this time, we'll go ahead and put the starter back on. That way we don't have to come back down here again. Like that. And then we'll also put one of these back on. Nope, can't. Got to go outside to do that. All right, so let's come down here. We'll put this piece on. Tighten that back in. Put the wheel back on. Tighten all these back on. Just like that. And then we'll swing over to the other side. See, this sort of stuff doesn't bother me. I mean, it might frustrate people that are watching and they're like, Oh my god, you didn't check this. Or, oh my god, you didn't check that. This is the part of the game that I like. Is just kind of getting in here and taking stuff apart. Putting stuff back on again. Figuring stuff out. I think this is what really makes this game fun, honestly. Okay, so are we good to go now? Did we get everything? Yes, we did. Stamped. Approved. Proceed to the next order. We did it. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right. For So for our next video and our next work order, apparently we got to replace the car battery and check the alternator. So we replaced the battery four days ago, and, and today I was unable to start my car again. Check what was wrong with that, please. So they probably got an alternator problem, because if their alternator is out, it's probably draining their brand new battery. So we're going to save that for the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed some more Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.